How's it going out there? This is a video tutorial that's going to be our part 2 to iPad 2 iOS 5 um, gestures and features. Okay? Um, there's so many new things that were added with iOS 5 and I couldn't show them on the first video so I'm going to just kind of release uh, like part 2, part 3, part 4 and just show you a couple of features at a time okay so in this one I'm going to go over two things the first thing I want to go over is notification center which is a new thing to the iPad that basically uh, whenever you get one of those little messages or what's called a push notification it actually shows up in this little bar right at the top. We're going to just slide our finger right down below the clock. And this will come up. Pretty cool, right? I'll just give it a little close-up here. And these are like different like notifications I've gotten with certain apps that I use. And uh, what's cool is whenever someone sends me a message, because I have push notifications enabled, um, it'll show up in my notification center. So the first thing that happens is someone sends me like a message or something, I'll see it up here and then it goes away and if I want to go back to see that notification again, I just slide my finger right down the clock and there it is. Okay? And if you look, it always tells you what app it is. This is my Family Feud and Friends app. This is my Echophone, which is a Twitter app that I use. Okay? And Real simple, again, take your finger and just slide it right down the clock, and then it opens up, and then you just take it right here and just push it back up, and then it's gone. So that was the first thing I wanted to show you. The second thing I wanted to show you is um, the keyboard, the new keyboard feature. Let's go to Safari so I can show you that. So I'm in Safari, and I'm on Google. I'm going to click here to type, and the keyboard comes up. Now watch this. Take two fingers. And I'm going to just push them out. Bam. And this actually separates the keyboard. So now typing is so much easier. Because now I can just use my thumbs. I don't have to reach across the keyboard to do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and take it and push this away. And now it's back. Now you don't have to use two hands to do this. You can use one hand. We can just take it like this. Put it in the center and just push out. And there it is. Oh, went away um, and then I take two fingers and I'm just gonna just pull them together and there it is and that's simple you can separate your keyboard or bring it back together whatever is more comfortable to type at the time but um, this is just one of the other really cool features that that the iPad just got with the new iOS 5 update so I hope that was helpful and uh, make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can get notifications when I upload new videos and uh, just keep having fun with that iPad. There's so much to learn. Alright, have a good one.